Praise the Leavers, this is Super Oh my god, Barbecue! And well, today we had a really exciting. In fact, I came on this morning thinking, oh my dear Jesus, saw this show up. This money in the bank style gold bars where you got, and silver bars, you gotta collect them. I was thinking, hey, there's gonna be fusions and it's gonna be really cool. The first time I saw it, it was actually in the login bonuses. And whilst it's not what exactly what I expected, I am going to run through why it's beneficial and why it could actually be something that a lot of the free-to-play and even some of the more experienced players could really benefit from. But let's start off by saying there's a bunch of stuff being updated. We've got this brand new pack in the store results, which we're going to try out, but you know what it's like. And we finally won a King of the Ring! Oh my dear Jesus. So I'm just gonna cut it to, you know, I'm just gonna say, look, we're gonna get 20, 30,000 views on this video, potentially. All I ask of you is to smack the like button. That's it, because it benefits the channel. I wish I didn't have to ask you, but it happens. It has to be asked. So if you can just do me a huge favor, I love you forever. You know I do already, smack the like button. Why have I said it three times? I apologize. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on because otherwise YouTube don't tell you about anything to do with the videos. Let's crack on. This showed up when I looked at the login bonuses this morning and you saw these little things called break the bank ingredient. And I thought straight away, oh my God, they're doing a money in the bank themed fusions or something else like that and it's gonna be really cool. Then I saw about the vaults. And this was in the news here to collect the silver and gold bars then fuse them into the fusion chamber to create silver and gold vault card packs ends at the end of may and again i'm just up there thinking oh my god this is gonna be awesome three packs are basically full of these cards you either get an ultimate which is the gold bar or you get an elite which is the silver bar then i looked at what you get from these and it disappointed me a little bit i i maybe got my own hopes up too high but i personally expected something that was gonna be like old school images because of the word vault i got my hopes a little bit too high up also thinking there'd be some kind of special money in the bank cards maybe instead of the spring stuff and the uh, like a summer fusion we're actually getting some money in the bank stuff but alas not happening maybe that's a sign that we're probably going to get the throwback soon or the fusions are going to drop soon but we've got a whole month of this but it does have some positives so we're going to claim the reward this is basically like a new version of the f it's like an enhanced version of the fusion chamber the Fusion Fury, sorry, not the Fusion Chamber, but the Fusion Fury. So if you just want a chance at a WrestleMania 35 card, which goes from Summer Sam 17, and WrestleMania 35, you just put eight silver bars into the silver vault. If you want a chance of getting something better, and this actually I like a lot, a superstar between Neon and WrestleMania 35, and an enhancement of the same, and it is based on your top eight rarity, whereas I think this isn't based on your top yes yeah, so this is better for the lower level players the ones who are in the uh, lower ranks who want a chance at a wrestlemania 35 card for the higher ranked guys especially the guys in wrestlemania 35 shatter tier etc this is what you want it gives you a chance at a neon to wrestlemania 35 now the likelihood is you're probably not going to get a wrestlemania 35 it, it's going to be low, low, low drop rates. But at least the opportunity is there. At least there is the possibility you can get it. I'm hopefully going to pull one for you guys so you can see. There we go. Straight away. Silver bar. Perfect. And you get them in the free packs, as I mentioned earlier on. It's probably going to be included in this week's event, which we're also going to cover off because... I got a little bit of heat. I'm not gonna lie, I, I got a little bit of heat on Twitter because I said maybe it'd be a good idea to uh, pro your Becky Lynch's, uh, but because it's likely it's not going to be a last man standing. Then this tweet came out from WWE Supercard last night 
actually confirming that there is a last man standing this week, and it's for Rick Rude, which is very surprising, but also not that surprising because basically they've taken inspiration from Bobby Rude and put Rick Rude in because they've basically got the same adult film mustache going on. But Rick Rude is actually a nice surprise. I am going to say, if Rick Rude can get an event card, where is Eddie Guerrero's event card? Make it happen, Supercard. Where is it? I want it. This is going to be the second pack if the game doesn't stop. Come on. There we go. Yeah, we're going to get another pack. Can we get a gold bar? No. We've got Brock Lesnar and a silver bar. Big news about Brock Lesnar. Retired from UFC as well. Just thought I'd mention that randomly. And he's now no longer going to be of UFC, it seems. I'd like to know your thoughts on not only Brock Lesnar retiring from UFC, but also the Fusion Chamber and where you think this is going. Do you think that this could potentially turn into another event? Do you think this is just another Fusion Fury? Have you done one of the Fusions? But going back to the event and why I think this is actually quite good this week, the first set of arena rewards will probably include a lot of gold bars and silver bars, which is going to be fantastic. And at least for this weekend, going to help out. Do I think the combination of war and LMS is good? No, it's awful. Why would you time such a controversial event with war, which is the least favored mode for pvp uh, i'm surprised we're not getting some kind of like big event as such uh, and also surprised if not heard given that this has come out about the network changes and uh the money in the bank delays etc maybe we'll get some details in the next couple of days i expect i expect some is going to come out before money in the bank uh the current money in the bank period ends let's go and grab ourselves the case I actually, that actually rolled in quite well. This is Grab the Case. You get 12 superstars from WrestleMania 33 to WrestleMania 35. I've already opened one and the pack odds are awful. And this is why I've got a video coming out about the pack odds. And it's not going to be pretty. If you get a WrestleMania 35 from this, just class yourself very, very lucky. Do I recommend buying it? No. Would they change the pack odds? Maybe. Let's open it. Let's see if we can get something good. We got a Neon. I mean, that's something. Razor Ramon as a Gothic as well. Uh, this pack is better than the pack I got earlier on. I'm not going to lie. But uh, still trash. For me, it's trash. I mean, for lower level guys, the thing is, is that lower level guys don't have the credits. They're not going to likely have the credits to spend. On Sorry, that was quite generalization. The lower level guys probably aren't going to want to spend this kind of money. So the people it would massively benefit are not really going to get the benefit they want from this. Uh, we've also got a May birthdays. The April birthdays are now gone. We get three superstars. I'd have changed it from four superstars to three superstars. Okay, who's got a May birthday? Let's actually find out. This is why we use Google. May has a big boss man, so maybe his Neon might be included. The Rock, so that'll be including up to Shattered. Dakota Kai, so that goes up to... Well, maybe they'll include her, her uh, Winter Fusion, I'm not sure. Uh, Owen Hart, did not know that. Tommaso Ciampa. So if we're, let's go from Kevin Owens and Tommaso Ciampa. So Kevin Owens, Tommaso Ciampa. Uh, Bobby Roode is included in that, or Robert Roode. And I'm looking down this. Uh, the Godfather, Mike Canellis, Dash Wilder, he's not included in the tier. Jimmy Snooker, Alistair Black, interesting. Andre Giant, he's not in the tier. Tom Phillips, yay. Uh, Akerm, Road Dog, Daniel Bryan. Okay, that's probably why they've reduced it. Bray Wyatt as well. Roman Reigns. Natalia, Seth Rollins, uh, Nia Jax. Okay. There's actually a lot of WrestleMania 35 cards in that. But it also means that the pack odds under that are probably going to be much better. We're going to do one because I always at least try the packs. But that's probably why they've reduced the number of superstars you get. is because there's so many that have uh, May birthdays. Let's open it. That's terrible. Double Kevin Owens and a Robert Roode. Oh my god, that's bad. <laughs> I feel like maybe, maybe they reduced the pack odds after everything. Like the 
Maybe they reduced the pack odds after stuff like this that happened. And I'm going to show you. I spent about 30k on the April birthday packs because, like, the luck was crazy. And I've now ended up with three Randy Orton pros. Which is just bonkers. Anyway, talking about WrestleMania 35 cards and potential pros, we've got the King of the Ring Awards. Oh, baby, yeah. Let's go and grab ourselves. Finally, I got myself a win in a King of the Ring, and that's a freaking good thing. And is it going to be a pro? Is it going to be a third like I got myself with uh, Adam Cole, baby? Is it going to be a female? You guys know what I want. You guys know what I want. I want females or female pros, especially with Last Man Standing coming up. Is my Becky Lynch going to be a problem? Maybe. Let's claim it. Let's see what we got. So we can just end the video on a really, really good note. Let's get the King of the Ring Awards. Goldberg, who was just being announced for the Saudi Arabia shows, uh, which is surprising. If we was potentially going to AEW. Anyway, WrestleMania 35 card is... Yo, 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 yo. Ooh, Liv Morgan, it's a pro female. Oh, yes, finally, I got a WrestleMania 35 pro female. Oh, yeah, boom, finally got one. You do not know how much I've wanted this. Holy goddamn. I can't swear, that is perfect. That is a really, 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 really good King of the Ring award. Now, if I can go and do this another two times, that would be brilliant, Supercard. Thank you very much. Hopefully that will happen. But there we go. Pro female, technically number one. Well, technically it's number two, because I've got Liv Morgan and I've got... Uh, I, I don't know what I'm thinking about. Becky Lynch. But Liv? Smackdown Liv? I haven't got anything that actually pros with it. I don't think anything actually tags with it that I've got. Oh no, I've got uh, Ruby Riot Because they're part of the Riot Squad. Duh. So yeah. I've actually got Ruby Riot. So if I wanted to, I could use this for King of the Ring. I might do that. I might level this card up. After Last Man Standing. Oh, I'm so happy. She was my first ever WrestleMania 35 actual superstar. Because everyone knows what I got for the... Um... <laughs> oh, dear. Everyone knows what I got as my first WrestleMania card. But uh, there we go. Can't really say that you get a better ending to King of the Ring than that. You know what? Just smash the like button for that. Let me know your thoughts on the Fusion Chamber. You know what, let's put the last King of the Ring award if you've been able to win any because it's rigged otherwise in the comment section below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you have, you're awesome. Just make sure you set your notifications on. Until next time, I've been Super Zombie Girl Barbecue. You've been awesome. One last thing, and that is to... Sleep!